Hey YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a suspension install on the Polo Harlequin that I introduced you guys to in the previous video. Um, coilovers for this car are actually pretty hard to come by in the States. It's similar to the Mark II, Mark III platform but it's different. Um, apparently the front is pretty much the same, but the rear is where you could run into some fitment issues, so best to go with a suspension that's actually made for the 6N platform. But um, I had ordered a set of coilovers CX Racing off of eBay, and what was sent to me, even though it was advertised as fitting a 6N, uh, you know, up to a 96, everything like that, in fact, was for the 6 and 2 Polo, which is uh, basically like our Mark IV. So completely different in the front and the rear. Nothing, nothing was the same. So after some arguing with them, I sent them back. And uh, they still haven't changed the listing. So as a word of caution, uh, don't order them on eBay. But uh, big shout out to Jamie Orr. Uh, he's got another... Polo Harlequin here in the States, uh, he's, it's ridiculous, has a 1AT swap and all kinds of goodies on it, but um, he had suspension sourced from uh, from California, um, he's got a hook up with um, a couple people out there who he put me in touch with, uh, Jeremy, so shout out to Jeremy at SoloWorks for getting me these, these are not available yet, but uh, it sounds like that's something that is going to be happening once the the, uh, the polo becomes more popular being imported here. Um, but uh, these are pretty solid. Um, don't know if I can say exactly what they're based off of, but uh, they did come from SolarWorks, who partners with like ST, KW. They're all kind of in that same uh, branch there. So these are, are pretty great looking. Um, you know, as far as coilovers go, they look like coilovers. They come with all the hardware needed on the suspension side. Of course, you know, your your bolts that are going to go into the car and everything, you're going to reuse those or replace those. They do come with some spanners to adjust the, um, the collars. And I also was able to pick up some new old stock Bonrath uh, mounts. So... I'm going to throw this on while I'm at it. Might as well. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, that's it for now. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to show you guys the install. It, like I said, it's similar to the Mark II and Mark III, so it's pretty simple. It's like two bolts in the rear and three bolts in the front. Uh, the hardest part is probably just going to be adjusting everything, getting everything dialed in exactly how I want it. Um, once I get the Polo tagged here next week, I will be driving it around a little bit more, weather permitting. There's no AC in the uh, in the car, and it's been raining quite a bit here. It actually is raining now. So once I get some mileage on these, I'm going to go ahead and do another video with a review. Um, I told Jeremy that I'd go ahead and do that for him, and that way we can get the info out to you guys. And if you need coilovers for your 6N Polo, you can just hit them up. They're right in California. So... Uh, that's it for now. I'm going to head down to the garage and get started. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks. All right, guys. Welcome to the garage. So, as you can see up top, same as uh, Mark II, Mark III. Not, I've already taken off the oh, this here. That was on top with a nut. Take that off. Oops. He's got another nut. A bushing. Now this is the different part, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is right here you've got a 16 and on the inside there uh, you've got a 17. And uh, that's it. I mean it's two, one, one bolt in the back, the nut up top, pull it out. I've already got the driver's side done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and I will get back to you guys. All right, it is out, and as you can see, this thing's done. 
towers were seized when I tried to adjust it. I mean, I'm, after looking at it, I'm like, yep, let's just go ahead and replace that because that's awful. So, there's the new ones. I already swapped over the bushing, this washer. Got the knot under there, tightened. I'm going to go ahead and shove it back up there and uh, tighten everything down. I'm going to set the rears at like 30 threads. Um, there's a bit of a size difference in the old and the new, but I think that's just because they are compressed. Because as you can see, the helper springs almost maxed out. So um, I'm just going to set it at 30 as far as the collars go and then put them to the ground and see where it goes from there. The, the fronts were also seized, so once I get those on and I get the car even out, it'll be a lot easier to, to figure out where I want to set it at. And uh, of course these tires, they are a bit too big. For now, unfortunately, there's no, really no stretch. They're 40, uh, 205 40. And I love this wheel, so I really don't want to get rid of them, but I've got to run a smaller tire because of the offset. Um, if I want to be, you know, somewhat low, but, uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these on. I'll be back guys. All right, the rear's on the ground. It's all wrapped up. I just got to go to the front, but I think I'm going to have to raise it a little bit. As you can see, it's very, very, very close. And the offset on these wheels is just, I mean, perfect, perfect. But unfortunately, the tire is too big. And it'll rub here. Probably here. Really, <laughs> pretty much all over. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's gonna be no good. So I gotta see if I can find a smaller tire. But uh, I'm gonna leave it at 30 because front is also seized and as you can see there's a nice gap so I'm gonna go ahead and put those on now and uh, see what happens when I lower it down the front a little bit try to even it out but these tires in the front I mean obviously they're gonna be too big as well just because of the, uh, you know, the, the the minty fitment there anyways I'll be back guys Jeez. or something you know what the kids are doing these days Anyways, um, passing the side's done, and well, I'm pretty much wrapped up with the driver's side, top mounts back in, new coilovers in. As you can see, it is just like a Mark III, so I really, I wasn't going to get into it with you guys. Um, it didn't really seem necessary, but 18s. Up top, uh, well, one side was a 20, one side was a 21 for me, so I'm gonna have to get some new hardware that matches because, you know, I'm OCD. Um, the other side, when it was on the ground, I had it set at 25 threads. I'm gonna set this side at 30, I'm gonna go back and set the other side at 30, and then I think I'm probably gonna end up doing 40 in the rear. So 30 up front, 40 in the rear. Um, Again, with these tires, they're just the, the offset on these wheels is absolutely perfect, but the tires make it too too aggressive. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get this wrapped up, do some adjustments, and uh, I'll come back and show y'all what it looks like. I'm excited. Stay tuned. All right, guys. I was uh, doing some editing and I realized I never showed you the final product. Just uh, kind of in progress. That's where it sits right now. Got a little bit of room in the back. You can see a little gap there because the tires are just too big. The front's a little too aggressive right now. I, uh, sorry, mosquito. I was rubbing, I had to go get a VIN inspection and was rubbing on my way there, but I just got my new uh, 165. 40 uh, Federals. I got some tires that came in yesterday. So they're going to go in there. These are 205, so I should have enough stretch to make it work. But um, yeah, 
So that's it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and finish and finish uh, editing this thing and uh, take Archer for a walk because he's antsy. All right, everybody, we're driving the Polo. Sorry if it's a little windy. I got the windows down, no AC, so you know, trying to make the best of it. Uh, just when I got it VIN inspected and I got the affidavit signed, so. We're good to go. It's going to be tagged and titled here shortly. But I uh, just wanted to touch base on this suspension. Tell you what, it rides really great. Uh, it seems they, they got the spring rates right, the valving. It, it actually, for being fairly low on coilovers, uh, it's it's pretty good. So, hang on, I gotta, I gotta do a little downshift here. But, uh, but yeah, so, pretty happy with this, uh, with this suspension setup. I need an alignment. It's, um, it's way way off but uh but yeah that's it for now um i think what i'll probably do is after i get my new tires on i get the uh get the car lowered down a little bit more get it aligned get everything straight i'll probably go ahead and make a little short update video for you guys uh, on how it rides and, and how you know how it's performing so until then, uh, thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for visiting the channel again. You know, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And until next time, y'all be safe. Thanks.